I'll be showing you step by step how to add currency conversion to your Shopify store and the app we'll be using is also completely free which is a huge bonus. So the app we'll be using to add currency conversion is called Nova. It's a completely free app and it has have great reviews at a 4.9 star rating with over 900 reviews. I'll leave a listing link for this app in the description. You can also find it on the Shopify app store as well by searching Nova multi-currency converter. But once you're on this page, hit add app and that will begin the installation sequence. I'm currently on the install page here and if you're comfortable with the permissions we can hit install app. From there we'll be brought into the setup screen for Nova currency conversion. So once on the setup screen the first step is to install the app which we've just done. Second one is to edit the money format. If you haven't already set your store currency this can be found by going to settings in the bottom left and it should be under store details and under store currency. The currency of this store is currently set to Canadian dollars. It's going to be the actual currency that my products are sold in. So once you're comfortable with that hit I've completed this step let's continue now for step two we want to go to the store currency settings shown in step one and then update the currency formatting values with these values below so if we click to view an example here we can see someone copying this then going into currency formatting and then adding these in essentially what this is going to do this is going to add a class which the app can then use to go and change currency amount based on the currency conversion values provided by this app. So let's open up this in a new tab. So again, we get brought back to this store details section in our settings. And from here, we wanna click on change formatting, and this will open up the currency formatting section, which we can then copy and paste our HTML code. So if I go back to the app here, I'm gonna to go to HTML with currency, I'm going to copy this snippet. As we can see, it's been copied to our clipboard. I'm going to go to the store details tab. It will probably be a little easier if you have these opened up in two separate windows. I'm then going to paste this here over the HTML with currency. That's been successfully pasted in. And let's go do the same process for HTML without currency. Again, copy it and go to the other tab for store details, pasting that in with command V or control V. Once that's done, I'm going to hit save in the top right. I'm going to go back to the app here. I can say I completed this step let's continue to the next step and that's actually it let's go to finish and continue and we'll click to verify and finish installation and now we get up to the overall setup screen I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to enable the auto currency conversion status and I'm just going to check this off for the sake of the tutorial to show all currencies I'm also going to select auto switch based on location just so we can see that that's working and I'll leave the rest of the settings the same as show flag and currency and I'm not going to add a shadow to the bar the only other setting I'll add here is round off price by default and we're going to round to the nearest decimal of 99 there's also this cart page notifications as even though customers will see the currency in a different one from their Shopify store they're always going to check out in Canadian as that's the base currency of my Shopify store. There's actually just one more setting I want to enable and that's the device settings so I can show the currency bar on desktop and mobile just so we can go switch the currency for this video. Now to hit save there should be a save button in the top right here and once you're satisfied hit save there and we can then go and preview it on our store. So I'll go and click preview your store and come back. This will open up a preview URL of my Shopify store and if I look in the bottom left it is hidden behind this preview bar here but I can see the currency here. So I go and change the currency let's change it to euro. I can then see my prices have now been converted to Canadian dollars to Euro, changed to USD. I can see the conversion as well, which is awesome to see. And just like that, I've added multi-currency conversion to my Shopify store for completely free. Before I go, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc. So if you've generated any sales on your Shopify store, you know how hard it is to track how profitable you actually are. That's where ProfitCalc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator that makes it really easy to determine how much money you're actually making. Once it's set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how profitable your Shopify store actually is. It'll allow you to make smarter business decisions, and it's going to give you a ton of different details and analytics. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. From there, you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you so much. I'll see you in our next video.